Hey everyone, this is Charmaine from Fantastic Crafts. I hope all of you are having a wonderful Wednesday. Wednesdays are usually a fun video and today I have this gorgeous shaker card that I created on Periscope but I decided I would edit the video uh, so I could uh, let you guys all watch this process with me. It was really fun. I don't usually make shaker cards and if I do make shaker cards I'm not that great at it. So I was able to create this card and I was very happy creating this card. Also, I apologize for any background noise that you may hear. I try my best to avoid that, but sometimes um, my kids are my kids and outside noise is the outside noise. So I do apologize for that. I hope uh, you guys don't mind too much, but I really enjoyed this card and I want to uh, really get it out to you guys just because I think you guys would have so much fun creating this. It's a shaker card, so you know how fun those are. So I started with uh, the Celestial um, stamp set from May May Made It. What I did was I just simply stamped all the images out and I wanted to color with some Prismacolored pencil. You can do alcohol markers, you can do anything you'd like, but I decided to stick with Prismacolored pencil just because I didn't play with it um, in a while. I then uh, fussy cut all those out. You can use a scan and cut. You can use anything. I decided to fussy cut because I was on Periscope. And so I wanted to make, sh um, I didn't want to have to connect my scan and cut and all that stuff. So I just fussy cut it out. Um, I then cut a uh, card base. So this is a five and a half by four and a quarter um, card base. So it is a, let's see, eight and a half by um, five and a half piece of cardstock that I cut, I mean, I uh, scored in half. Now I had this pink and main, um, I'm sorry, uh, paper pad that I really loved. It's a Christmas paper pad, but I really fell in love with the colors. I, when I first saw it, I knew I wanted to do something with C and it was so nice when I found this stamp set, set the Celestial, I just felt like it belonged together. So I cut a matte piece out, so I just kind of left a 1 8th of an inch, maybe even a 1 16th of an inch uh, border around this um, this uh, panel. And I did use the peacock feathers to kind of ink the edges, which I love doing all the time. And while I was at it, I also inked the edges of my um, starfish. Now I'm not going to use all the cut cutouts that I cut out, I'll just save it for a later project. But I did want to use the starfish, the seahorse, and I believe also the little um, uh, sh seashell. So I w wanted to make sure I uh, inked the edges of those and also I wasn't completely happy with my um, Prisma coloring. <laughs> so I, I felt like the inking really put it all together. I then needed to cut out a little panel that would go on the back of my shaker card but also show through the shaker window. So to do this, and I wanted, I knew I wanted to add bubbles somewhere in this project. So to, to do this, I took another, I'm sure it's, I think it's a peacock feathers again. Um, and I just simply, what I did was just color that piece of cardstock with this, um, with this ink and all I did was like just just as if I was blending that's exactly what I did I would just I just got some ink and I dabbed it onto the piece of little uh, the square piece that I created I believe I created a three by three um, square so once I did, had that completely colored, I knew I wanted to use those bubbles from the stamp set because I just felt like, I just knew this is where it belonged. So since I got my water from the background, then I decided to stamp those bubbles on and I used a blue from the Versa, Versa Fine Claire ink because I didn't want it to be black. I wanted the bubbles to kind of flow in with that background. The color I used for the little bubbles was the Versafine Claire Blue Bell color, and this is a gorgeous blue. It's um, these Versafine Claire inks are all pigment inks, but they dry so quickly, so I don't make a mess, and I usually make a mess with all my inks. So <laughs> this is really nice, and uh, honestly, it even blends really nicely. So once I had that uh, created, and I knew. 
I was happy with the bubbles and the placement of the bubbles. I knew I had to create a window for my window shaker card. Um, and what I did was I took a, a square piece of paper that was slightly larger than my um, my little background with the water and the bubbles. And then I just simply cut uh, around it another small square to create a... Um, a window now you can do this with any kind of die square die or whatever shape die you have actually that would probably work better but like i said i wanted to kind of do this with minimal supplies just because i wanted to uh, make sure everyone can create this card on their own without having any extra uh, machines or anything because i created the card by hand and not a die um i realized my little square inside was not perfect so to fix that i made the whole thing imperfect which became perfect so i created little waves around this frame to kind of look like water waves and i thought it looked fantastic i then took this cracked pistachio oxide ink to cover the whole frame with it and this does a great job the oxide inks just covering white cardstock it gives great coverage now i don't know if it's the the ink itself or if it's this uh, blending sponge or it probably is both but it does a great job so then i knew that i wanted that acetate on that frame so i just kind of measured it and kind of cut it out um i guess i could have been more precise with my measurements but like i said i really wanted to just make let everyone know that you can do this and it doesn't you don't need to have all the supplies you can just do it with basic supplies you have and um so I glued that outer edge, that frame, and then I put that acetate on top. Now you will see that I did kind of cut it a little wonky and so I had to make a few trims around that acetate to just kind of make sure it wasn't coming out from the frame. And it was just easy to do. I just took my little shears and I just cut it off um, and it was very tiny. It wouldn't probably have shown but you know I just wanted to. <laughs> um, then I took my little foam uh, roll that I have. Actually, it's not little it's a huge roll of uh, foam um, and they're thin and this is works really well the reason why I like using this particular one is because for shaker cards this is perfect now you need to use two layers but I feel like that two layers of this um, 3m scotch tape is or foam tape is it just works so perfectly to do that second layer all I did was re uh, release the release paper from that first layer and then just put the second layer on top it's very simple to do now some things you want to know about uh, any kind of acetate paper is that the static is high <laughs> the static is strong with this little acetate uh, paper so to remove some of that static all you need is an emb uh, embossing buddy or uh, anything like that powder or anything just to kind of put on top so you uh, eliminate that static a tad bit. I then put some stars, um, gold stars, and some other sequins that I had in my collection, um, and I just uh, made sure it filled up that whole window without overwhelming it because you still want the shaker card to shake so you want to make sure you don't put too much but you don't want to make sure you want also don't want to put too little because then it's going to just not look that great either so you just kind of want to put a handful and you'll see how you'll get it when you put a little pile of it you'll see it and then i put that backing that um little uh water scene with bubbles that we created and you can see i'm having way too much fun with the shaker card it is so fun i just wanted to like shake 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 all over it is so so fun so once i had that done <laughs> and i played with it enough i wanted to put that seahorse on one side and i kind of wanted to create a like a border not a border completely but have a few images on each corner to create a more uniformed look so I had the seahorse on one side and then the seashell uh, on the other side. And then I finally put some glue onto the back of this shaker panel. And I had to shake it a little bit more. And I put that whole thing onto the front of this card. And it, look at that. That's so cool. I just thought it was amazing. I loved it. I loved how it came out. I thought it just looked so neat. And um, it was exactly how I wanted it. So, you know, that always helps. So I took this... Um, 
Versafine Clear ink once again, and this is the Bluebell once again. And I wanted to write this sentiment, and I, I figured since I did the bubbles in this color, doing the uh, sentiment in this color would look nice as well. And then with the cracked pistachio, I inked the edges of this sentiment after I cut out the little sentiment, and then I simply I thought about. Uh, putting it in different places and then I thought about whether I should put foam tape or not. I decided to go with the foam tape because I felt like it would be in line with that frame and so it would pop more and you'd be able to see it much better. Once that sentiment was glued or actually foam squared onto this uh, front layer of the card, all I had left to do was put it on a card base. I could have gone with a black card base, but I just um, thought there was a lot of white in this as well. So I just put it on a A2 size card base that we created in the beginning of this video. Now I wanted to put this little starfish somewhere, especially because of that sentiment. I thought it would go well. And all my friends on Periscope agreed it would look nice. So I just put it on the bottom of that card um, to finish that card off. And of course, shake it a few more times because it's a shaker card. Why not? I was so happy how, with how this card came out. I loved it. I am really into sea and, you know, mermaids and all that and these blue colors. And so... I really, really, really loved how it came out. And I really hope you guys give it a try. It's, it doesn't use a lot of supplies. You know, you probably have most of it in your craft room. I mean, you probably have a stamp set like this too. I'm sure you have some sequins because we all have sequins, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it really is fun. I mean, think about giving this to a five-year-old, a six-year-old. I mean, even a three-year-old. My daughter loved it. So they would be shaking it all day and all night. <laughs> and it's, it doesn't make noise. So it's great. As a mom, I love that. I don't want noisy toys. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today. And I really hope you give it a try. And I really appreciate the new subscribers. I want to welcome them and say, hi, I am Charmaine, if you didn't know already. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, I really encourage you to subscribe just because there's going to be a huge, huge giveaway, a crafty giveaway, crafty haul uh, giveaway um, when I reach my 500 subscribers, which I'm very close to. And if you haven't thumbed up this video thumbs up this video please do so i really appreciate it until next time everyone bye